What's up everyone and welcome back to Street Fighter Cross Mega Man. Today, we're taking on the second Robot Master. Last episode we took out Chun-Li and that actually gave us the ability Lightning Strike or Lightning Kick or something like that. And that will actually help us take out Viper here. So, that is what we're going after today. Let's go ahead and go Mega Man versus Viper. Alright, so here we are in C Viper stage. I actually have no idea what the C stands for. That's why I continue to avoid saying it. I think it's Crimson Viper, but I'm not 100% sure, so I don't... I, I'd rather just, you know, be safe than sorry here and just not say what the C is. I think it's Crimson, though, but... Anyway, uh, here in Crimson Viper slash C Vipers stage, first of all, we've got those little annoying enemies that pretty much just... Yeah, these things. They pop out of the ceiling and then they start shooting little pebbles at you, which is kind of annoying. But really not that difficult to handle. These guys, however, they apparently are sponsored by Target, the, the mega store or whatever, department store. Look at their shields. They literally have the little Target target on it, I guess. So, I don't know, maybe they are. Probably not, though. I don't think Capcom, Capcom has yet to achieve that kind of level of awesomeness with Target, so... Anyway, uh, we've got this little area here where basically these guys, you just kind of avoid their laser and then you can jump and use your super beam and they pretty much die instantly. Uh, these elevators here, you can actually control them going up and down, which is pretty much the only time you ever really get to use the up command or the up key because other than that, you do get to use down to slide, but you never really use up for anything. Um, over here, I believe there is a secret. Uh, there's an E-Tank actually, which I already got earlier because I did screw up the level, but... I'll edit it in, just so that you know that there is actually an E-Tank there. Yeah, there, you, you probably just saw it, but yeah, there is an E-Tank there usually. But uh, E-Tanks actually do not replenish in this game. Uh, you can only pick them up once, and if you pick them up, even if you still haven't used it, um, it doesn't reset if you lose the level, which uh, I actually did, because I only had one life, or actually I had two, but still I lost the level, but uh, you do keep the E-Tank. Now this area here, very challenging. Uh, see this little thing over here, this little Cyclops little thing? You're actually gonna want to shoot that immediately as soon as you drop down. I'm actually waiting for this guy to shoot one more. And there we go, because this giant laser pillar is gonna start chasing you. And you basically have to try to traverse this little area as fast as you can before the laser reaches you. And I'm actually doing decent this time around. Oh, of course, I screw it completely up as soon as that happens. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, that was so close. I screwed it up at the very end. Oh man, that kind of sucks. I'm hoping that I can do this kind of easily because I want as many lives as I can for uh, Viper herself because she's actually not that not that easy to take out. So let's just see how we do. I recommend you slide as much as you can because it makes you go faster and stuff. And try to avoid those things. I am doing a terrible job of doing so. And I am probably going to lose this again. Oh gosh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh god, I'm doing terrible at this. They say the third time's the charm, but hey, I I don't go by that rule because for me, usually the third time sucks. So let's just hope for the best here and see if we can actually make it this time around because I have been sucking at this. Um, I actually did pretty well when I played it earlier today, but hey, look at that. We finally actually made it. Hooray. Oh man, that kind of sucked. This enemy right here, you can kind of grind a little bit. Uh, I just stand right here pretty much and shoot two charge shots at it. And uh, if you want to, actually you can't try again, but there's another one basically, so you can try to take them out and hope that they drop HP. They actually didn't for me, which is kind of unfortunate, but, you know, if you're really low, it's kind of helpful. If not, then, you know, there's some HP right here, so it's not that big a deal. Plus, these guys can actually drop HP as well, so you've got plenty of chances to grab HP if you haven't, is what I'm trying to say. But, uh, this guy here did actually drop HP, which is awesome. Now we are ready to take on Viper. I think we're actually getting pretty close. So let's wait for this guy to shoot and wait for this elevator here. Hop on up there and I think, yep, there it is. There's the boss room already. So let's just wait right here for a second. I'm actually just going to skip over this dude. I really don't care. And we're going to go to Viper's room. Now, Chun Li's weapon is actually uh, Viper's weakness, which is why we're doing it in this order. And that is this ability here. It's a little bit tough to do, but it is actually her weakness because. Viper likes to jump around the stage a lot, so it's a little bit difficult to actually handle this because of uh, Chun-Li's ability being such a short-range weapon, as you can see here. It's very, very short-range, but it is her weakness, so 
as long as he kind of, you can spam it really close to her, but, oh gosh, here's her special, basically smashes down into the ground like that. It's actually pretty tough of a battle because of the uh, very short range of Chun-Li's ability, but if you manage to actually avoid, oh, that was pretty close, but I think that was actually it for my lives. Oh, never mind, we get one more chance, so that's pretty good. Uh, let's actually try this again. Hopefully I do a little bit better, but uh, hopefully you got to see a little bit of the idea of what I was going for there. Uh, you kind of want to try to, you know, jump jump at her. I'd recommend you jump at her and then try to use it. It, it results usually a little bit better sometimes for me at least. Um, here's her super, which actually sucks because I keep not avoiding it, which it does a lot of freaking damage. So let's see what we can... Oh gosh! Oh, that was a pretty narrow, narrow dodge there. Oh Jesus, can we do it? Can we do it? Yes, we can! And with that, we take out the second boss, Crimson Viper. Why does the background say Sin? It's kind of weird. S-I-N, Sin. Probably some kind of Street Fighter thing. Maybe like an organization Viper's in or something, but... What do we get from Viper? I'm wondering what do we get. Dan the Man, show us what it is. You got... The Optic Laser! I actually don't remember what that is. Oh, it's exactly that, what the what the frickin' target shield enemies use. It's a pretty cool ability, but uh, we will figure out what that is useful for in the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, and I'll see you all in the next one.